Hello there, welcome to another one of my speed paint videos. This time I'll be drawing the character Irma from the cartoon series Witch. So yeah, this is a character I haven't actually drawn before, so as you can see I'm using references on the right hand side. And the reason I wanted to draw this character is, well, one, I really like their designs and I thought it would be fun to try and draw one of them, so I chose Irma, who's my favourite character from the show. And also, since recently I've been re-watching it, I thought it would be fun to try and do this. I'd actually been wanting to draw her for a few weeks, so finally got around to doing it. And yes, recently... Well, I re-watched the second season recently, and it's actually kind of weird what I did. I re-watched the first season again, like, a few years ago. The whole first season, and I was gonna watch the whole thing, but then I kind of didn't feel like it anymore, because... The show was pretty good, but for some reason, I can't remember why exactly, I kind of got disappointed by the ending, so... As a result, I just <laughs> didn't really feel like continuing, so I only rewatched the second season, like, a few weeks ago. And it was actually pretty good in the end, possibly even better than the first season, though it's hard to remember exactly, but... Yeah, I, th I forget what it was, I think the, f the end, the last episode of the first season, it just... I found the, that the conflict was resolved like too quickly or too easily or something and it, I don't know why, it just put me off watching it for a while. But I'm glad I finally watched the whole thing, it was enjoyable. And yes, yeah, so like the, their costumes are pretty cool and fun to draw so I'm glad I decided to draw her in the end. As you can see I'm now drawing the line art on Fire Alpaca. I wasn't really sure at first whether to go for a neat star or just do messy quick line art and it's kind of a mix of both like this is I think it's neat line art but I did it relatively quickly like it isn't the neatest it could be either it's pretty simple but uh, I'm pretty pleased with how it turned out anyway so yeah as for the sketch the I tried to do a pretty easy like not a very complicated movement but I tried to make it a little dynamic and interesting and I didn't know where to put her arm either, so at first it was behind her back and now it's kind of just flaming on the on the side really. It wasn't really sure what to do with that arm. Trying to make it look like she's flying otherwise. Since I don't know, it's not that often I end up drawing you know, flying characters or characters with wings, so I thought I should make her fly in this. And then I did thick line art for the wings on a different layer. I also did the lineup for her hair and for the water on a separate layer so that I could colour them in later with less difficulty. I oh yeah, and there I'm changing her eye as she's winking but it kind of looked really awkward beforehand. Hopefully like this looks a little better but I don't know for sure really. A little less awkward in any case I think. Here yeah, just making a few changes. And here I added a kind of colours scheme on the left so that I could know what colours that her design would be without having to keep going back to the reference pictures which I thought would look worse for this video if I kept doing that so it's kind of easier and it was also more practical in a way to have the colours you need just on the side of the image. And then colouring the stripey tights. Yeah that's another really cool part of the design. And onto the hair. and the lips and stuff. Another thing I don't draw that often actually is I don't usually bother coming in the lips of character, human characters so I thought I'd try it this time as they kind of have that in their design as well I think. Modifying some of the colours and then onto shading the hair. Yeah for the hair what I usually do is make it a darker colour than the actual main colour of it first but then um, I gradually make it lighter in the areas I think the sun's going to be showing the most or where the light would reflect most onto it and kind of do like light strands as well to try and make it look more like hair. I here I think it turned out okay, it's not not the best I've done but not bad. And then make a lighter line art for the hair. And another thing I tried doing which I don't do that often is adding extra strands over the line art layer so that it looks less neat and and straight, like it looks a bit more natural, or at least that's what I tried anyway. Not quite sure if, I if it worked or not. And then shading the skin. 
I think the skin's usually my favorite part to shade just because it's like pretty smooth and easy to make look nice, especially with red shade. Like, I think my favorite kind of my favorite colored shade to add is reddish shade and for the skin it's like the the easiest to do that. Cuz I don't know certain colors when one shades it it's harder to I find it harder to choose the right colors to shade on certain things. Whereas the skin it's usually relatively easy. See so adding more detail then onto the shirt. The clothes in this case were pretty easy to shade because there weren't that many creases and stuff as like the shirt is like pretty tight fitting so there isn't much there aren't many creases to add and stuff. And um same for the skirt really. They're just like adding one or two basically. <laughs> As you can see here. Yeah, this this design has such nice colours as well. One thing is often hard what I find when creating character designs or whatever is trying to decide which colours to give the characters clothes. Not really it's not the easiest thing to do I find. But yeah, yeah, I think they did a good job with that. I guess it's about finding which colours go well together and not being too bright either. And yeah. Here I added some darker shade onto the tights just so they looked a little more 3D since I thought it looked kind of flat at first when I'd finished. And the boots were kind of a bit of a pain to shade, I don't know why, I just had difficulty knowing where to put the dark and light areas and trying to make the material look a little shiny. The wings are pretty easy though, I just made them darker on the edges and lighter in the middle, almost as if they have a slightly transparent effect. And making the line up lighter and onto the water. The water was pretty fun, I usually don't end up shading water like that very often, but it was fun adding light in dark areas and experimenting with it a bit. I think it turned out okay. I mean, I think it looks like water anyway. Adding some more strands of hair. But yeah, drawing her was fun. It's it's nice to try and draw different characters I haven't drawn before sometimes. And if there are any characters that you guys would ever like to see me draw, then just let me know in the comments. I'd love to hear what you'd like to see from me. And I hope you enjoyed this video and have a good day.